I mean, we've got to be careful about what we say about each other sometimes because it boxes us in in ways that makes it difficult for us to work together because our constituents start believing us. They don't know sometimes this is just politics, what you guys, you know, uh, or folks on my side do sometimes. Um, so just a tone of civility instead of slash and burn would be helpful. The problem we have sometimes is a media that responds only to slash and burn style politics. Uh, you don't get a lot of credit if I say, you know, I think Paul Ryan's a pretty sincere guy and has a beautiful family. Nobody's going to run that in the newspapers, right? And, you know, <laughs> and by the way, in case he's going to get a Republican challenge, I didn't mean it. Uh, don't want to don't want to hurt you, man. Um, but the uh, on on the specifics, uh, I think both sides can take uh, some blame for a sour climate. Uh, on Capitol Hill. What I can do maybe to help uh, is to try to bring Republican and Democratic leadership together on a more regular basis with me. Uh, that's, I think, a, a, a failure on my part, is to try to foster better communications even if there's disagreement. Uh, and, and I will try to see if we can do more of that this year.